Welcome to the Electrical Systems of Solar Photovoltaic Technology course. The objectives of this first laboratory are for students to characterize a solar cell by its electrical equivalent circuit, to estimate experimentally the solar cell parameters, and to compute the current voltage and power voltage curve, and to analyze the temperature influence. Now, let's begin. Each group will work with this set of solar cells, which are divided into groups, one with three cells and the other with five cells. The first three cells are connected in series, and you can see here its terminals. The other five cells are also connected in series, however they are disconnected from the other group. In the laboratory, make sure to turn the set over to see all the connections. You will see a lot of wires, but if you look closely you can find the terminals. And if you follow each wire, you can see the series connection of each group and also a parallel connection with a switch and a bypass tube. We will not discuss this bypass tube for now, but we will explain this later. Follow the instructions to make all the connections needed for this experiment. So, start the experiment by setting the resistance to its maximum value, like this, and then make sure that the distance between the lamp and the solar cells is the correct one. Ok, so now use the solar meter to measure the irradiance at a level near the level of the solar cells this okay and after that you can use the temperature meter also to measure the temperature of the solar cells just connect it and take one of its wire and place it in the top of the solar cells You can see here the evolution in time of the voltage and current of the solar cells. Start the experiment by changing the resistance value to zero and see what is happening to the voltage and current. Let's look closer. This is the voltage and this is the current of the solar cells. We started with a very high value of resistance and with a very low value of current and a high value of voltage. When we change the resistance to zero, the voltage comes to zero and the current goes up. The next thing to do is to change the format view of the curves. Go to the format menu and change it to XY. Finally, with this you can see the typical current voltage curve of a solar cell. 